What's wrong with you? Oh, it almost got me. Hey there, my name is Yami. I am your Latina next door. Welcome back to my channel. If you like high-end home decor and DIYs on a budget, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to become part of the familia. I am currently fixing up my master bedroom and I am so overwhelmed with the biggest project that I am doing for this space. And since I'll be sharing this very soon with you guys, I thought I'd take you guys back and share some of my most dramatic transformations. Now, some of you guys might remember our last home. In our last home, we pretty much redid every single room in that house. But there's some rooms that you guys haven't really seen on my channel. And I wanted to go over those in this video and kind of share what you can do with what you got and by doing it yourself. Now, a lot of the images and shots you're going to see are actual photos and not video in the beginning, just because it was a time where I was blogging more than I was doing YouTube, but I will have a mixture of both video and images for you guys to enjoy throughout the most dramatic transformations of this house. This is what our master bedroom looked like in our last house. This was your view as soon as you walked in. And as you notice, the walls were painted and in kind of like a Tuscan style, but I wanted to give it more of a coastal look, especially since the house was in a neighborhood that was on a lake. Of course, the first thing we needed to do was remove all of the cornice boards and window treatments, and then we tackled the back wall. We primed it and then we added thin sheets of underlayment in order to create a nice shiplap pattern on the back wall as soon as you walk in to create a focal point. Now I didn't paint it, I left it as is because I wanted it to look completely different from the popular shiplap that was always painted white and just to give it a warmer feel. I added layers like with a new rug, added nice soft clean textures and some of my DIYs that you might have seen before and it completely transformed the space and I absolutely love the feel of this master bedroom. It was always so calming, so peaceful and inviting. I'm so looking forward to having a sanctuary again, but you can't appreciate this until you see us side by side. Now, actually the very first room that we redid in this house was the laundry room. And as you can see, it was pretty outdated with pretty ugly countertops, really dingy floors that were all stained. It had a decent color on the walls, but it wasn't really my gray and everything just looked old and tired. And since it was actually a really nice space, I decided to give it a facelift. I started with painting the cabinets a beautiful blue color. I wanted a really cheerful and bright colors and I also changed out the hardware. Then I moved on to the floors. This was the very first floor that I painted and boy did I love it. I ended up painting this beautiful mosaic tile on the floor to make it look like cement tile. I'll be honest, it was a painstaking job, but I was determined to make everything look absolutely perfect and I love how everything turned out. I painted the walls a lighter gray, I sewed up some fabric for the cabinets and added baskets and even a new countertop using a faux marble countertop that actually looked real because of the way I had it cut. I added some beautiful baskets to the space as well as new laundry equipment and I just loved this space. The day that I left this house, my floors looked exactly the same as the day that I painted them. This is another room that you guys really haven't seen on here on this channel and this was my girls Jack and Jill bathroom. As you can see, it had really outdated and peeling wallpaper throughout and honestly this wallpaper made me really dizzy and upset because I just couldn't understand it. <laughs> it just went around everywhere. 
the countertops were dated and the cabinets were just builder grade so we decided to replace the countertop with a beautiful quartzite countertop as a matter of fact we actually replaced all of the bathroom countertops with this before we left the house we ended up installing undermount sinks and then we painted absolutely everything the walls after we removed the wallpaper which was absolutely terrible we painted a super light gray because we wanted to make sure that the girls felt like it was a nice light and bright space paint absolutely transforms everything and we did try to reuse a few things like this very yellow plastic fan cover that I spray painted white and it looked pretty much brand new as soon as I was done painting it and then I painted the cabinets because the walls were such a light color I decided to go with a little bit of a darker gray and this gray I couldn't tell you what it is um, it's beautiful but it ended up being a mixture of a lot of different paints that Nelson and I had left over from previous projects so I just mixed it all up and then used it to paint the cabinets and it ended up turning out so beautiful we left no stone unturned in this bathroom every single inch and we even decided to add a beautiful wood thick frame around the entire large mirror so that it actually looked like it was framed out we replaced the light fixtures to something a little bit more modern and clean looking but still a little elegant and this is what the space looked like right before we sold our house everything was nice we also replaced the faucet it just coordinated so well the girls little hamper was underneath the frame looked polished like it had always been there and the lights were super nice and bright we really enjoyed this space before we left. And then here is what the shower area looked like after we removed all that wallpaper. It was such a huge difference. The great thing though is that we did not have to replace the tub because actually it was still in pretty good condition. But this space looks so spa-like and dreamy and clean and airy. And I can't wait to get started on my girls' bathroom in this house and um, give them a beautiful space like this as well. So if any room takes the trophy for the most dramatic change, it would be the great room. The plum room, the royal room, call it what you want. But the color on the walls just had to go. And while this was a two-story great room, the darkness of the walls really made it feel like it was a cave and these curtains, don't get me started on them. They were such a pain to take down, but you know, my husband made it happen and I am so grateful he took on that task. So this was the state of what this room looked like when we moved in. That's why there's so much junk everywhere. And obviously the first thing I did was paint everything and down to the last detail and yes we painted both stories and while my husband rolled the walls i just want to take a moment to say that i was the one who did the trim on the very high part of that ceiling on a ridiculously tall ladder because my husband is afraid of heights and darn it i don't have any pictures but i promise it was me now the next thing I decided to tackle was the fireplace and I thought it was honestly missing something. So I created a design and my husband helped me create a frame above the fireplace and with shiplap coming down. I painted all of the trim, including the built-ins and all the way around the windows, both on the first and the second floor. And I painted that shiplap area white and I just absolutely love the way it turned out. This fireplace has got to be probably one of my favorite transformations yet. Christmas was always so wonderful in the space because of how I could decorate it. Everything just came to life because it was nice and bright and clean and fresh. And we loved this room. We spent a lot of wonderful little memories in it. And if you guys um, notice, those are the curtains that I have in my current living room. Also that coffee table and a sofa and one of those side tables are also what's in my living room as of right now. I think this room definitely gave me a lot of confidence to tackle even more rooms and even bigger projects afterwards. 
And speaking of the next big project, the kitchen was a huge undertaking in this house. It was a nice space and it had very nice tall cabinets, a beautiful hood vent. Um, it was actually very nice quality woodwork when it came to the cabinets, but the color was just not me. It didn't have that beautiful light and bright and airy welcoming feel to it. The wine rack above the fridge, I couldn't even reach, so it was pointless. <laughs> and the stove was actually pretty outdated. Now this was the kitchen that I showcased in my how to paint kitchen cabinets video where I go step by step telling you all of the products and everything that I did step by step in order to achieve the final look if you want to take on a project like this. And no, I didn't use any sprayers. This was all done by brushes and rollers. And as you can see, I did remove that wine rack and add shelves for a nice little display, which I thought was actually a better use of space. I added a nice piece of trim around the hood vent to give it a little bit of extra character. We did replace the stove and both double ovens to stainless steel. And it ended up looking super nice, high end and polished. It just made the kitchen look brand new again and while I wasn't a fan of the countertops to be honest they were just too dark for me and had even little specks of purple in them which is not a color that I like to decorate in the white actually helped you know kind of minimize that and not make it look so strong and I thought at the very end that this kitchen came out really nice I do have a video series on how I did everything if you guys want to check it out I'll link it in the description box below as well as any other videos that pertain to these rooms that I have in my archives also brightening up the kitchen really made it feel a lot more open and airy since it was kind of blocked a little bit away from the great room and it was a great transition into the next space I'm going to talk about. So if there was any one room that sold this house to us when we first looked at it was this one right here, the keeping room. Not only did it have these beautiful high beam ceilings with a second fireplace, it was probably the space that we spent the most time while we lived here and yes we were eating on the floor that was our very first meal in this house the problem i had with it was is that it was very dark as well and it wasn't properly lit up either one thing we did do was replace that light fixture and i used to always like to have as much light as i could come in the house so i always had the blinds up even though i was not a fan of them but while I tried to make it work, as you can see at night, it just felt like a huge cave in this room and it just wasn't my style. So I had to do some changes. Now I had this small table, which I also needed to change up a little bit. And I decided that I was going to paint the chairs white instead and brighten them up, which also helped brighten the space. But I did end up painting the same color gray that I'd used in the great room and in the kitchen as well. And if you notice, I stained the beams up in that ceiling a darker, richer color. And it just looked so much higher end than the orange tint and i know it's hard to tell in this image but we did add shiplap on both sides of the fireplace and paint it white side by side you see the huge changes in this room and let me tell you something no matter who came to our house this was the area where we all got together even though we had that great room this smaller cozy space was where we all hung out had the best laughs watched awesome movies and just had a good cozy time. The next bedroom that ended up being a huge transformation was my littlest bedroom. And would you believe me if I told you that there were drapes that were the exact same pattern as what you see on these walls? They're not here because the homeowners actually took them with them. The first thing that had to go was this wallpaper. It just honestly wasn't my style. And I will admit, if there's something that I really don't like doing is removing wallpaper. And look what was underneath that wallpaper. Really bright yellow walls. But I decided I wanna do something extra sweet and super complicated to the focus wall of this room. And I decided to paint my very own Buffalo check. And it actually ended up turning out really sweet in the end. The space was brightened, 
the lines came out perfect and I have a tutorial on this on my website if you guys want to check it out but this room looked completely different than when we got it once we sold it so the next room is another bathroom and this was the main guest bath that was on the main floor it was a wonderful size it had good bones the shower was practically ever used so it looked like it was brand new and even the tile was in halfway decent condition but i wasn't a fan of the darker green color that was on the walls or the ceiling gray and that cabinet piece was just the wrong kind of color for me anyways plus i wasn't a fan of that seashell sink <laughs> And this is what it ended up looking like after I made a lot of changes. We painted the cabinets, painted the walls, I addressed the grout on the tiles, and I added a lot of beautiful, nice DIY touches throughout. And again, in keeping with my coastal theme, I gave this cabinet a darker bluish gray color that I actually think ended up looking pretty stunning. I painted everything gray. And that was actually a custom mix that we did. These are the quartzite countertops again that I shared from my daughter's bathroom. We had them installed in this bathroom as well. And the undermount sink just made everything look so much nicer and polished. I also added some new curtains. These were actually store-bought curtains that I added a beautiful ruffle detail in ticking stripe at the very bottom. I added some natural rug to the space as well and I just accessorized with simple things and added some new blinds to the window for privacy but this was definitely a really nice guest room and I love the first impression and spa like feel that it gave when we had people over oh and you might notice some DIYs that you have probably seen on my channel in this space as well I gave you guys some of the most dramatic room transformations in this house, but there are so many other spaces that we transformed before we moved out of it. And I have a tour of this entire house. I have a playlist of four videos where I take you through the entire thing and share how everything looked before we moved out. If you're interested in it, I will list it in the description box below and you can watch the videos. That is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am definitely very proud of some of these previous rooms that I have done. If you thought so too, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to let me know which one of these room transformations was your favorite. And make sure you subscribe if you want to get more inspiration on fixing your home yourself and on a budget because it totally can be done. I hope to share my master bedroom progress with you all very soon. So I'll see you back here next week for another home decor and DIY video. Until then, adios.